So now it's cool because we have clack, clack, and now we have the image. So that's it. The Webflow tips is done. Hello everyone and welcome to this new Webflow tips, the first one in English. In this new Webflow tips, we're gonna play with some over animation to make appear some multiple images on our Webflow hero. So the video is a little long, like 20 minutes, because we tr it's extract from our Thursday weekly live on Twitch. So I think the video is like around 20 minutes, but we're gonna try uh, for the next, I mean, the, the next live already uh, record, but for the third uh, Webflow tips will be shorter. The goal is to reach uh, Webflow tips of 10-12 minutes maximum. I hope you like this video and let me know if you would like to see another Webflow tips that I can do on other video or we can do in other live. Enjoy, see ya! So today we're gonna play with this design. I create this design inspired by this super book, The New Outsider. It's a book about uh, creative people so it's a super book with a lot of beautiful pictures so um, it's a super it's a super subject for play with uh, and, and create a design for this book we're gonna play with this scene and the goal of today will be that when we move our mouse all around the hero this image change so how we're gonna do this we have this selection of 12 images or super cool, really, really super cool images. And actually, we're gonna first, first what we're gonna do, it's we're gonna build our scene without the image. So this is super, it's pretty easy. And in the second step, we will add the, the wrapper of the of this of, of the images and we will create an interaction so we will create a grid that we will uh, set on the top of our composition and we're gonna set an on over of all the box that we're gonna create we will change the images so it's mean that when we're gonna over on the box number one here the image will this image will appear when we over on the box number two here this image will appear and we will and we will gonna do this for every box now we're gonna create this wrapper for the image so for this it's pretty easy too what we're gonna do wait We're gonna create add a new div in our hero that we're gonna call wrapper uh, image, and this we're gonna put in absolute position in full width, full full width and full height, and we're gonna give a Z index of two. So now I'm gonna add a div. In my wrapper image and I'm gonna call I'm always bad with the names <laughs> and I'm gonna call uh, what I gonna I can call parent image so um, now we have the our div parent image first I'm gonna select the wrapper image and give a flexbox of a line center, justify center. Like that, you can see that the parent image is here. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set, set up the size of our parent image. So for this, we just we're not gonna give any width because the width will be determined the, the width will be set in function uh, will be set 
according to the image because some image have a larger width than other it's not is not the is not on the parent image that you need to set up the width so for this we just gonna set up the height and for the high, we're gonna set the high, let's say for, for import 30 EMs. I think it's good. We will adjust later. 30, let's say maybe 25. Here, I am gonna give uh, minus seven EMs. So to my parent image, I'm gonna also add a relative position and I'm gonna give, and I'm gonna set a relative position of 7 em so here if i check my design i need to i i need to see that it's more so let's add let's say nine and to my wrapper title minus nine so yeah now it's pretty cool We're gonna add the first image, so let's start by this one. Then we're gonna call image, simply. So for this, I'm not gonna give any width neither, but I'm gonna say you take 100% of high, like that. It will fit to the size of his parents, with which is 25 ems. So um, that's it, the first image is set up. So I'm gonna give a class one and that's it. I mean, no, I don't need to give a class right now. Now I'm gonna copy the, the image. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give a class one and I'm gonna hide the first one. Now I'm gonna give a class two and like that I can select the image number two which is here and now we're gonna do this for the 12 image so I'm gonna copy so now we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve perfect so now image number one it's already set up image number two also now i'm gonna select image number three and i'm gonna select the image number three this is a, a repetitive part uh, i display i reset the display image for display and i change by the number four I reset the display and now you know the song for every image and that's it now all the image are set they are all here so now the fun part where we're gonna start to create to set the things for create the animation so for this will it's gonna be super easy and I think pretty fast because we are it's already 40 minutes of chat the time time flies but yeah for this i think it's gonna be super easy because we're gonna create a grid which inside we're gonna add 12 box and on over we're gonna create 12 over animation saying that on box number one show me this image on box number five show me this image on box nine show me this image so um, I think it will be pretty pretty fast. So let's do this. So now we have our content hero in the relative one, our wrapper image in absolute two. So now what we're gonna do is create a wrapper grid, and we're gonna give an absolute position full, and then index three like that. We know that. Is on the top of everything 
So inside with wrapper grid, of course, we're gonna add a grid. So I call my grid grid because we just have a one, one page, so I don't need to give a specific name. And to this grid, I'm gonna say you take, we're gonna set the width at 100% and the height at 100%. So now let's set up the grid. We don't give any gap. We don't set any row. And it's gonna be, because we have 12 uh, items, we're gonna set up, we're gonna set six colon and six row. And this grid, we're gonna say 100% height. Uh, wait. My bad, I create 12. Yeah, perfect. I create too much row. Two row, it's enough because six per two, 12. I need to, I need to get better in mathematics. So now our grid is set and we're gonna add inside our grid a div block that we're gonna call uh, trigger because it will be the element that uh, start the animation. So I'm gonna call trigger. I'm gonna duplicate 12 times. Uh, oh, miss one, 12. Now, uh, now I have my 12 trigger. I need to say to this trigger, take 100% width and 100% height. Like that, I'm sure that it fit, it fit in the grid, uh, in the grid. So now every trigger fit in the grid. And now we're gonna give just a specific class to every trigger. So we're gonna give trigger one, trigger two, trigger three, and trigger 12. That's it. So now here we go, we can start our animation. So it will, will be easy. We're gonna say on trigger one, on trigger one, you show the image number one, easy. And we're gonna repeat this action 12 times. So we add, of course, a mouse over on the class trigger one, but we, this animation just will be on desktop because it's an over animation. There is no over animation on tablet and, and neither mobile. So let's just set up for desktop and above. And we're gonna start an animation. I'm gonna delete this animation that I created before. And I'm gonna call a trigger show image one. And now I'm gonna go to my wrapper image and I'm gonna select the image number one and I'm just gonna add an animation of show. And that's it. Hmm, no. Let me think. No, yeah, actually, I need to select all my image. And I'm gonna explain you why. That's it. So now I select all my image. I give um, I give a display none like that. They are all hide except image number one. And why I'm why I'm not just saying okay, just show image number one because. When I over trigger number one, I need to show image number one. But for example, if I'm going to trigger number two, it will show me the image number two, but it will also show me the image number one because I didn't say when I over image number two, don't show image number one. So I need to say for every, for every animation, show don't show me all the image except the one I want. So here is image number one. And after all the other image are hide. So now let's check if it's working. 
hey, it's working. <laughs> so now let's set up all the trigger. So now we create a mouse over animation on the class trigger number two, tablet. And what we're gonna do is we're not gonna select again every everything. We just duplicate the animation, rename it for don't be messy. It's important. Important is really important in Webflow to don't be messy because after when you check a project and 15 days later you totally forget your way the way you build so it's super important to name everything so now let's do this again on every trigger so trigger number three start an animation So now I'm gonna set to the image number three. Ah, it's not in the. Don't tell me. Ah, the image number two. It's here. Okay. So okay, me. Yeah, I will show the number three here. And let's come back in the trigger number two because I show the wrong image. Yeah, image number three. Perfect. Now let's create for the trigger number four, mouse over on the trigger number four. I duplicate. So number one is hide, number three it's hide, number two. I don't know why my number two is here, but anyway. Number three and number four show perfect now a new animation on the trigger number five again a repetitive action but yeah the, the results the results gonna be cool so doesn't matter to have a, to 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 be buried in some repetitive actions also the fact to repeat an action give you the after you memorize really well the the action so that's that's not a waste of time the 12 so now let's see i guess it's working yay it's working that's pretty cool so that's it our interaction is done you can subscribe to the channel if it's not already done. You can also join us on Twitch because we have our weekly live on Thursday, 9 p.m. Uh, Paris time, of course. So you can join us there also or on Instagram where we create some snack content, uh, like a one minute video, so like a sh micro micro tips. So you can also join there if you, we, we are on all the platform providing content <laughs> like a uh, long long content on twitch medium uh, medium content on youtube and short really really short content on instagram and youtube short so join us everywhere hope you enjoy let me know let me know if you have any suggestion of things that you would like to see in the next video and see ya